friends and family are mourning the loss of a Sacramento County woman allegedly shot to death by her roommate. I was shocked because she was so sweet. Like, she was the nicest girl ever. Jana Mejia was missing for three days when police found her body in a Placer County field. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Today, authorities charged 25 year old Terrace Vincent with her murder. And new tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw has dug up the details on Vincent's violent past. She joins us live at the Sacramento County Jail with more. Jen. Tony and Adrian, he was arrested last week after police say they found firearms in his apartment, but it wasn't until today that he was charged in the death of Janet Mejia. A makeshift memorial now stands in front of the apartment complex where Janet Mejia lived with two roommates. When it happened, I started crying because she was really, she was the sweetest girl, like really the sweetest girl ever. Edlyn Boucher lives nearby and was friendly with Mejia. She can't imagine why anyone would want to hurt the 28 year old Sac State grad who had big aspirations and an even bigger heart. I feel so bad. Like, I feel like, why her? Like, she was too sweet. It's a question that's puzzled the community. Mejia disappeared on April 10th. For days, family and friends put up flyers and spoke out, hoping for her safe return. But three days later, investigators found her body shot to death in Placer County. It appears that she was dumped off that roadway. Now detectives say it's one of those roommates who shot and killed Mejia. 25-year-old Terrace Vincent was arrested last week on unrelated weapons charges and Monday charged with murder. As it turns out, Vincent is no stranger to the law. According to court documents, Vincent pleaded no contest to felony domestic violence in 2012 and then again in 2013 when he was also charged with kidnapping. That charge was dropped, but he was still sentenced to two years in state prison. She didn't deserve this. Even her employer in Roseville released a statement. We're deeply saddened to hear of Janet's death. Our hearts go out to her family and friends for the tragic loss of a bright young woman. Boucher says now all anyone can do is pray for Mejia's family during this tragic time. And today we asked Vincent to share his side of the story, and he said, quote, I don't want to talk to no one. He will be arraigned on those murder charges Wednesday. And our thoughts are with me as mm -hmm. family and friends tonight, Jen. Thanks.